What's up guys, Adam here again, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to install a motion sensor light switch. And the reason I'm gonna be installing one of these light switches today is because I have a couple rooms in my house, one in particular where it seems as though I'm the only one that's strong enough to turn the switch off. So that light is staying on for extended amounts of time and therefore just wasting electricity. So the way that these switches work is basically you can have them set different ways, but for the most part, the way that they work is when you enter a room, they will turn on the light or lights automatically. And then after a set amount of time, again, you can change that as well. After a set amount of time, it will automatically turn the lights off. So you don't have to worry about whether or not lights are being left on. They will automatically turn off after that set amount of time. So if you have kids, or you have your, well, no, we'll just leave it as your kids. If you have kids that are leaving all of your lights on or specific ones, then you may want to look into installing one of these motion sensor light switches. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing we need to do before we get started on anything with this switch is go out to your circuit breakers and turn off the circuit breaker that is supplying the power to the switch that you're going to be replacing. And then after you've turned off the circuit breaker, then you need to check to make sure that the power is in fact off. Now that we know that the power is off, we can remove this switch from the wall. Now we can start removing all these wires from the terminals. Now in this particular installation, we don't need to know which one of these wires is line and load. It's not going to matter. We're just going to hook them up. But in a lot of switches that are like this, you do need to know which one is line, which is bringing the power in, and which one is load. If you ever are doing an installation like that, you can figure out which one of these is line by before the electricity is turned off and the switch is in the off position. You can use a multimeter and figure out which one of these terminals has electricity going to it, and that'll let you know your line. But again, for this installation, we don't need to know that. So we can go ahead and start removing all of these wires. All right, so before I get started with installing this, I just wanted to quickly go over some of the wiring on this switch. So the silver looking wire is gonna be our ground. These two blacks are gonna be our hot wires. And then this green wire down here, usually green means ground. And if you don't have a neutral wire, this is going to get installed, wire nutted together with this ground wire up on top. Those would be put together and then wired and connected to the ground wire coming from the wall. But if you have a neutral wire, which in this case I have a neutral wire, what we're going to do is this is actually going to get connected to the neutral wire. So we'll go ahead and remove this green sleeve off of this wire. And then that way we know that this is actually going to get hooked up to the neutral. But again, if you don't have a neutral wire, this and the ground are gonna be wired together with the ground wire. Okay, so now that we've got all of our wires straightened out, let's go ahead and start with installing the ground wires on this switch. So you're just going to take your ground wire coming off the switch and start wrapping it around the ground wire coming out of the wall, that bare copper wire, and then just put a wire nut on top and tighten it down. So you can see that it's starting to twist here. That's usually a pretty good indication that they're well wrapped together. So now we're going to install this white neutral wire. And as you can see, there's no white wire coming out of the box. This is very standard for light switches. All of your white neutral wires, most of the time, are going to be all wired together, bundled together with a wire nut in the back of the switch box. So we just need to pull that bundle out, which here it is, and then just remove the wire nut from the bundle of neutral wires. Take your neutral wire from the switch and then just start wrapping it around with those other neutral wires. And then you can take your wire nut and put it back on and twist them all together. Now you can push those neutral wires back to the back of the box where they were. So now that brings us to our black hot wires and we're just gonna do the same thing. Wrap the wire, start wrapping the wire around put a wire nut on, 
and just tighten them both down. Again, it doesn't matter which black wire connects to what hot wire for this particular switch. So just connect both of them to the hot wires coming out of the box. Also make sure that as you're tightening your wire nuts onto your wiring, just give them a tug to make sure that none of the wires will come out. So now all of the wiring is connected so we can push all the wiring into the back of the box and then we can screw the light switch itself down onto the top of the box. So now that the switch is tightened down into place, now you can go ahead and turn the power back on to this switch. So now that the power is back on, before we put a cover on this to make this look all nice, we're going to have to be able to get to this button that's over here on the right side to program this. And we're going to do that by programming the timeout time, whether or not you want this switch to turn on automatically or manually and then turn off automatically. And then, of course, the advanced settings as to how sensitive this is to motion. And all the instructions are going to be included in your box. It's basically going to be done by pushing down specific buttons for a certain amount of time. And then this light right here will flash to let you know what setting it's on. So let's start out with timeout time. I want it to be set to five minutes, which this will flash three times then. So we're going to hold this button down here. Okay, so there it flashed the third time, which means it's on setting three. And this is now going to time out after there's been no motion after five minutes. So now we're going to adjust the sensor mode. And this is going to be whether you want this to automatically turn on with motion or if you want to manually turn it on and then it will automatically turn off once there hasn't been any motion, which is the option I would like. So this button over here on the right side, we're going to push this down and we want it to get to where it shows two flashes in my case. And there's the second flash. And then the last option is going to be how sensitive this is going to be to motion. I want it to be on a low sensitivity because it's right by the door where you walk in. So it's going to be able to pick up any motion that's in this very small room. So I'm going to put it on low, which is just one flash. But if you wanted it on high, it would be two flashes. So you have to hold down both of these buttons at the same time. And there's one flash. So it is set to low sensitivity. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all there is to installing one of these motion sensor switches. As you saw, really easy to do, and maybe this is the solution that you needed in order to make sure that your lights are being turned off and save you some money on your electrical bill. So I hope that you found this video to be helpful and maybe you learned something new. And if you did, please let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section and also giving the video a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions, you can leave those down in the comments as well. And if you like how to's and do it yourself type videos for around the home, like we did here today, I do a bunch of videos on new projects and also videos on repairs and maintenance for around your home. And I have a bunch of videos that I've already done in the past that you can go check out now. So consider hitting that red subscribe button and I hope to see you in the next video.